Hello confetti club, it is Pixie, and it is time for a video that I don't really know how to make. Um, I've never really made a story time video or like a rant video or a video on something that like happened to me, you know what I mean? But something happened to me that was really shaking and really bad, so I want to make a video about it because that's my job and that's my life and that's what I like to do. I just want to say that this video is all just my own story of what happened to me personally. This has nothing to do with any company or anything. All of what I'm saying is my own opinion from myself and is not told on behalf of anyone. Um, just so I don't get in trubsies. So yeah, fuck. This is the story of how a super angry, yelling, transphobic woman yelled at me at my work and I had to kick her out. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. And I've worked several places, so it doesn't really matter where this was. So we are going to call the workplace in which this happened. Snazzy. Let's call it the snazzy spot. <laughs> that is that is where we are going to say this took place. My favorite workplace, best place I've ever worked. So I was at work and I was just doing my thing, being the best little employee I could ever gosh dang be. And I was working with a customer and I was helping them out um, in such a way that like we were really like kind of invested, like we'd been I'd been helping her for like, I wanna say like 20 minutes on like picking stuff out and like making sure everything was perfect. So I was really like, I, this customer was really taking a lot of my, you know what, attention is the word, um, which is totally fine. So I was just like preoccupied. And so I was the only one in the store at this time. Um, staff wise um just because i am like a key holder supervisor whatever um which i have been at several stores so thanks snazzy what are we calling this snazzy spot mm -hmm. i'm doing my thing with this customer and i'm just helping them and like i'm kind of running around a little bit frantic teeny tiny bit frantic and there's this there's a couple other people in the store and i'm just trying to like make sure i get to everyone and help everyone um but i am just kind of preoccupied with this lady and so so this little five-year-old boy who like just walked in the store he says excuse me where's the boys section just like that's that sentence is all he said and I was kind of like running around from thing to thing so I was just kind of like a little bit flustered and so all I said was oh like anything in the store could be for a girl or a boy like just like anything that quote all I said all I said and then I went up to cash because it was about to ring that girl through um, and then she decided to have a look at a couple other things I was like that's fine so I just stayed up at cash ready to ring people through and this woman comes up to the cash and she is a tall lady <laughs> she is a tall much taller than I lady um and I want to say like age 50 to 60 not that it matters but she comes up to me. I have never seen this woman before in my life. And she says, like, looks me dead in my eye, like, leans over the cash, says, just so you know, you didn't have to say that. And I was like, wait, who are you? Like, what? I, I don't even know what I said. I was, I think I just said, like, said what? Um, in a nice way, like, oh, sorry, what do you mean? Like, customer service voice, 100% polite. I am the most polite piece of shit you will ever meet. And she says that thing about the genders. I di you didn't have to say that. And I was like, wait, what? She was like, my son asked you where the boys section was and you said that anything could be for a girl or a boy. And I was like, I just looked at her this whole time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you what she said, but just know the whole time I was. What? <laughs> what do I do? What do I say? when someone comes up to you like that and like I didn't see the mom at the time it was just the boy and I was like oh like anything <laughs> like what's for boys anything you can like whatever you want anything so she starts going off at me like yelling yelling and there's other people in the store right this isn't just a me on her slow Thursday night thing this is like there's people in the store and you are yelling 
and there's children around, so... Anyway, so she goes on to say, he's five years old, he doesn't have to hear that. I, as a Christian woman, this is my favorite part, as a Christian woman, I don't believe in the transgenders, nobody believes in it, and he doesn't have to hear that because he's five years old. I just told him he could buy whatever he wanted. I didn't tell him to go be queer, I didn't say anything! I wasn't like, fuck the cis, let's go, like, I'm a cis woman, I like feminine things. I was just saying, your son can like, whatever he wants, and I wasn't even like, Yes, child, let us talk about gender roles. Let's talk about stomping the patriarchy. I was just like, anything, like, <laughs> go at it. It was like a five second interaction. I was not trying to like stamp a queer freaking branding on your sense of our head. I just told him anything. And from his mind, what he probably should have taken, what he probably did take, his mom was probably just there, I just didn't see her, was that like, there is no section with Hot Wheels and or things with zombies and or dark blue. I don't know, what do people think is masculine nowadays? I don't know. Just like everything in the store is kind of what you see, it's what you got. So after she's kind of blowing up at me for a while, I do respond and I gesture and I am like shaking. And the girl that I was helping for a while is standing there like right by my side on the other side of cash like an angel she was amazing and so after a while i just gesture around because she kept repeating what i said she was like you said that anything in the store could be for a girl or a boy i wish i could mimic her voice but i can't and so i gesture around the store very like shaking arms and slowly because i feel like my arms are like glued to my sides like i felt physically paralyzed because i deal with confrontation very well but not at work. I am a very like, come talk to me if you have a problem, let's go. I am a fighter. However, when I'm at my workplace and I just wanna be home in bed with a comfy blankie watching anime and then someone comes and yells at me just for like doing my job and trying to make people happy, it's not good. <laughs> I come undone, anyway. So I gesture around and I just say, I don't really see how anything here is limited to a boy or a girl. Quote! All I said, I wasn't like, well, you see, ma'am, here in 2017 in Canada, we all love being gay as fuck. Like, not what I said. Anyway, and so then she, she came at me for what I said again. And then I said, all I said was that anything could be for anyone. I said that. And then she said, no, you said boys are girls. And I was just like, yeah, boys are girls. And then the girl who I'd been helping before pipes up like an angel and says, well, maybe he's curious which I didn't even say. I didn't even think like, maybe your son is trans. Like I didn't say that because I would never kind of go there because that's not really my place, but she's awesome and she's not on the clock. So she said, maybe he's curious. And then she says, you shut your mouth to that girl. This is when in my mind I'm thinking, call security, call security, call security, call security, kick her out, kick her out. Now she's being mean to other people. So she's leaning in and she's going on. And then at one point she says, and that little girl didn't need to butt her fucking nose in and like uh, say all this and say he's curious. And as soon as, soon as she said, butt her fucking nose in with the F word, I said, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave or I'm gonna have to call security. That's the first time I've ever had to say that to a customer! Yay! <laughs> it was really scary. And also in my head I'm going, I don't know security's number. I know it's in the drawer, but I couldn't just be like, come on, we got a transphobe in snazzy spot. I would have to be like, uh, let me open the drawer and let me like find my little cue card. So I was kind of like, I hope she just leaves, which she did. However, <laughs> That's not the end of the story. I kind of stood up and now everyone in the store is staring. Everyone in the store is looking because this woman is yelling and saying the F word, calling herself a Christian woman and like yelling at that girl. And I'm just like, ah. So I said, 
I'm gonna have to ask you to leave or I'm gonna call mall security. And so she starts backing up and she's like, yeah, you give them a call. I already know them pretty well. You have a good day, sweetie. I know my day will be better than yours. And she left. And I just turned around. I was still at cash and I just turned around and like, my lips started to quiver. And I just started to cry. And I really didn't want to cry because I wanted to be like the strong millennial child who like faced a demon and did the right thing. But then I cried a lot and I was the only staff in the store. So I had to tell people it was just my contacts. I have literally said it's just my contacts. Sorry, my vision's really bad like so many times and it's so obvious it's not because like my literal lip is quivering and my nose is red and i'm like oh no it's just my contacts <laughs> anyway so the other girl who was working comes back and she takes over and i go out back for a minute and i try to recover myself which took way too long um and it's like i knew i didn't do anything wrong because I was like nice enough, you know, like I don't think I really did anything that warranted that But it was still just really shaking to have that kind of blow up in your face when you're at work and like did not expect it at all It kind of came super out of the blue and like even if I had said we don't have a boys section That's bad on me as a retail person because then I'm saying there's nothing in snazzy spot for you There's nothing in my store for you, right? Like from a retail working point of view if that had zero to do with gender it still would have been better to say than like oh nothing fuck you go home like mm. anyway later that night <laughs> fuck. later that night when i was still at work she called the store because she said she was going to call my manager. I forgot to mention that. She said she was going to call the manager and like probably try to get me fired. She didn't say that, but like let's the, the, probably. And so she calls and my manager answers the phone and my manager is a sweetheart who is very protective of her workers. And the lady calls and I can't hear, but I'm like, I'm right beside her. So I can't hear what she's saying on the phone, but I can hear my manager responding and looking at me like, Ooh. and so I guess, how it must have gone, this is paraphrasing because I wasn't on the phone with her, but she was like, is that girl with the pink in her hair there from earlier? And my manager says, oh no, she went home. She says, oh, was that because of me? She was like, I don't, I don't even think she said anything. She was like, oh, I, yeah, I, I sent her, I just sent her home. I sent her home. And I'm right there like, <laughs> I don't want to confront that woman again. And so basically she was saying like, I, like I made a fool of myself I made a spectacle of myself and like I am a Christian woman and I do believe what I believe in and my values are so it's hit so close to heart for me but I shouldn't have like came at her like I did she said I just I came right to your store from having a really bad customer service experience at another store and I just let it all out on her and like can you tell her I'm sorry No! <laughs> like, I appreciate that she did not call to try and get me fired, and I appreciate that she did actually call to apologize. And I would have taken that apology if she blew up at me because her coupon was expired, or because we didn't have what she was looking for, or because it was too expensive for her and, like, the price was something wrong. But she blew up at me because she's transphobic. Big. And I know that that's a big word, but like her saying she doesn't believe in it and that like it's something her son shouldn't have to hear and like screaming and using the F word because I just said that anything in the store could be for a girl or a boy. That is what that means. So even though she did apologize and she felt really bad, like that, that doesn't change how you feel as a person, right? You can't be like, oh, I'm really sorry I yelled at you, but I still like, I still think those people are trash and that they don't believe to be alive. They don't deserve to be alive. You know what I mean? Like that doesn't, you can't put a bandaid over like a festering wound in your body that you love. <laughs> You love that wound and you want it to stay there because you're proud of it. This is not hating on Christians at all either. That's just something she kept repeating. I want to put that in there. You are totally fine to have whatever religion you like. That is, that was just a strong part of her argument was that she was a Christian woman and repeated it many times. Anyway, that is what happened to me. I guess I kicked her out. I guess that's what that is because I told her to leave and then she left. I always imagine kicking someone out of a store as like, 
<laughs> but like, I don't think you can touch them either. I think you could get sued, so Anyway guys, that is all I'm gonna say on that. Um, nothing really that traumatic has happened to me before at work. Um, I've definitely had really awful customers come in that also made me cry, but it was over things like prices or like things not ringing through or like the line was really long and not like I think this whole like section of human beings are subhuman and don't deserve respect. Yeah, Frig, there's a story time for ya. <laughs> I've never done a story time before because my life is usually pretty like going okay, but oh geez, what a day. I was I was pretty messed up for a couple of days. So if you are trans, non-binary, queer at all, know that I love you, know that the Confetti Club is always a safe space for you and that you are special and cherished and valid and I love you just the way you are and not to listen to angry yelling people that will go into retail stores even if they're not yelling at you, even if they're yelling at me, don't listen to them. <laughs> Buy your items, it's okay. <laughs> This video's featured Confetti Club member is definitely not Kira on Instagram. Here she is looking really, really cute in her throw kindness around like confetti tea. I love you. You're really cute. I like your face makeup. I like your bracelet. I hope you're having a great day. Once again, if you guys do want to be featured in a video as a Confetti Club member just like that, please just tag me in a pic on Instagram of you in one of your items from my merch shop and I will feature the heck out of you with many a blown kiss and many a cyber hug. <laughs> Alright you guys, I love you so so much and I will see you in the next video which is not this one because this one is over. Bye!